everybody, Ann here, sitting here in front of the tiny house. I got my coffee over there, and it's a sunny morning, but it's a chilly morning, so I got my coat on. I've already gone and checked the chickens in the back with the chickens out. Um, one egg so far, that's okay. I did crack open one of those double yokers and made some breakfast, and yep, it was just a double yoker. And I had potatoes and ham, and it was delicious. I gotta go into town today because I gotta pick up some stuff. Um, I think to facilitate my entry into the brooding area, I am just going to get an extra chick feeder and waterer so that I don't have to go in there and walk around. I can just reach through the side, grab the old ones out, put the new ones in because um, I don't know who's doing it, probably Miss Pris, but um, there's a bunch of stuff being kicked up into both of them. And it's just easier for me to replace them with fresh ones, clean out the old ones, and um, take it from there. But they're all still alive, and they all look like they're doing good, and they look like they've grown already. So as soon as Miss Pris kind of calms down a little bit, I'll take a, I'll take the camera in there and let you see them. But um, hopefully they'll warm up a little bit. I think I'm going to go into town right now, pick some, pick up some things, and. Um, no, just take it from there. Oh my gosh, I was totally up talking through that whole last segment. I want to go into town. I hope it gets warmer. I need to pick up some things. <sighs> Looks like it's time to harvest these here oyster mushrooms, baled oyster mushrooms from this tree stump. I'm going to cut them off the tree, put them in my brown paper bag, and cook them somehow. I don't think I'm going to fry them this time. I'm going to try something different. There we go. It is done. Yeah, I looked a little bit on the tree. Hopefully, I don't know, hopefully they'll spawn some more. But look at how beautiful these are. Now, I won't be eating any part of this stem. It's too rough, uh, too tough. I'll be going around with my knife and just kind of like trimming off anything that doesn't look good. I'll be inspecting the gills for bugs. But look at that. Oh my goodness, these are going to be so delicious. I cannot wait to eat them. Oh, good boy. He loves this. <laughs> You're a good boy. And so, Papa. You just want to be petted. You're a good boy. Time to cook up these big, beautiful oyster mushrooms. I just threw some butter down into my cast iron skillet, chopped up the oyster mushroom into little chunks, and just kind of tossed it around in there a little bit. I went foraging and I got some wild greens, some wild onion tops, some wild garlic dill tops, and threw it down in there. Just kind of wilted it a little bit. And then I seasoned it with hmm, salt, pepper, garlic, minced garlic. Yes, minced garlic this time, some minced onion, and that is it. That's all I used to season it. And I've got my pasta going in the, the little pot to the left. Yeah, minced onion. And I gotta tell you guys. This was absolutely delicious. It turned out perfect. The pasta was great. Oh, look at that. I got a bunch of other stuff done today, but I didn't do any filming. I just wanted to get the stuff done. So in tomorrow's video, I'll show you all the little things that I've been working on and getting done. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. I'm going to go eat my dinner. I just miss my Judy girl so much. Hopefully she'll be here in a month. Just look at her. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.